Everybody on your fucking feet. Let's go. Let's rip. Let's go. Let's go on your fucking feet. Everybody watching this Sean McCombe YouTube channel on your fucking feet. Up on your fucking feet. Let's go. Let's fucking go. On your fucking feet. Let's go. Okay, now that I've hyped us all up, <laughs> it is currently 9.56. Wasn't that a song? Fuck, four, five, six. Oh my god, wait. I just got a total, like, war flashback to grade 10. There was a song. This song. <laughs> I remember my friend, oh, he was driving me, or his mom. <laughs> <laughs> was driving us home, and my homie played me this song, and I was like, Oh my, this is the best song I've ever fucking heard in my life. I can't believe this is the type of shit I used to listen to, and I liked it too. Like, I wasn't listening to it on some, like, oh, this is whatever. Like, I, I like, I like this gangster rap. <laughs> I woke up today at 7.30 somehow. I don't know how the fuck that happened. I feel really proud of myself. Well, I set my alarm, that's how. Recently I've been on my um, 5 a.m. to like 2 p.m. sleep schedule type grind. It's been pretty f***ing awesome. Are you for serious right now? Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever watched the comeback, Lisa Kudrow? Thank you. <laughs> I, this shit better be focused because I'll kill myself. Like, it's probably not. It's probably fucking not. I was not focused that entire time, I bet. Let me check. Oh, God. So, so I just checked and I was focused. <laughs> Everybody on your fucking feet! Everybody on your fucking feet! I think we need to start treating, like, I just feel like I don't get my flowers enough. And I think y'all need to start watching my videos and acting like it's like a Harry Styles concert or some shit. Like, this should be like the Eras tour and every single time I do something impressive, which is most every video I post, I could do like a really silly edit or like a perfect sound effect. Y'all need to just get up out your seat, get up out of a bed, and give me a round of- I feel like I don't get enough standing ovations. I also changed the lighting and hopefully I look much better. I looked like a- Skinwalker. In the last bit. The reason why I was freaked out about not being focused is because yesterday, uh, Y'all are gonna be so mad at me. Yesterday I posted on my story requesting like odd book- Oddly specific book recommendations. I was gonna do another one of those videos. Honestly, because I saw Jack Edwards, uh, resident, internet's resident librarian do it, and I was like, oh, I wanna do that. <laughs> I wanna do that again. And I did, but I wasn't in focus the entire time. Like, I was slightly fuzzy the entire time, so I'm not posting it on my YouTube channel. I think it was, it was funny. I've edited it. <laughs> I need to finish editing it this morning and I'm gonna post it onto my Patreon. It is funny though, like, it was making me laugh really hard. No, I talked about the Nikki uh, Megan drama in it. In case you wanna know my take on that, you, you, that's behind a paywall, which is probably for the best because I don't want Nikki coming from me. And I know she will. If I was to put it on YouTube, a more public place, she, I know I'd be the first on her hit list. She'd be in my comments talking about my bald spots. <laughs> And then she writes, he told his wife about your bald spots, allegedly. <laughs> That's also the reason why I'm doing this, because I don't have a video to post this weekend. So it's Friday, February 2, and I'm doing a daily, day, day in the life.
But I think today is going to be a hard reset day. I've been needing one of these days for weeks, but I just need to figure my shit out and get back to living life as a human being. I've been living life recently as like a goblin, like a goblin freak from hell, like a monster bitch from hell. I've been hibernating and it's, I'm done, I, we're done. All that I have planned is I'm having lunch with a friend at one. This morning so far, you know, I've been up for almost three hours. I haven't done a fuck of thing. All morning I've been contemplating going for a run or a hike, but that contemplation turned into procrastination and now I'm not going for either. <laughs> the past few weeks I haven't really been reading either, but I decided since I wasn't doing anything, I was just laying in bed staring into the abyss to pick up a book and I picked up No Longer Human by, I don't know how to fucking. One time I said this guy's name and some in my comments said <laughs> the way he pronounces blah, 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 blah. but I picked up no longer human it's quite short as you can see I believe it is like a Japanese classic I read the first chapter and all it really was about was just like an ugly little boy <laughs> like the narrator was just talking about this ugly boy and how ugly he is um, so that was a good way to start my day but right now I think I'm gonna make an omelet because I have had breakfast. I woke up and I had some leftover overnight oats that I ate and I had some coffee, but I'm hungry. I'm hungies. I was gonna make a breakfast sandwich, but I'm out of the good bread. So I'm gonna do an omelet instead. Honestly, that's really f innovative. My brain, my brain, that's, wow. Mastermind, mind of a mastermind. <laughs> because I said, oh wait, like I don't have bread. How am I gonna make this sandwich? Bitch. Turn the egg into the bread, as well as the meat. And it is what it is. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, it's fucking bad! Did I zoom out or in? Did I zoom in? Oh. <laughs> Go check it out, link below. Did you hear that? This person just said, come. This one said, feels like the word queef. A book that feels like taking a long piss. I'm being fed my own organs. A book that feels like gay sex. A book that feels like messaging men on kick on my iPad mini under the covers. <laughs> this one just says restricted response. Being constipated for weeks on end. A book that feels like indigestion. Someone just said illegal. What the fuck is this? Hello, my name is Email. What? I gotta go. Was it always this crooked? <laughs> I don't think it was this crooked when I put it there. Okay. Look. So, wow. Why am I so... Hey, I'm back. So I didn't film anything, but I thought that I would um, first show off my outfit. So this is... How am I supposed... To... Wait, maybe I can do this horizontally. Imagine me standing, though. So this is what I what wore. So this is what I... My shoes are not going on the bed, by the way. So this is what I wore today. Um, imagine me walking now. This is me walking. Shoes are New Balance, as you can see. Pants are from Depop, but they're Carhartt. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. They've got these fantastic button details and lots of pockets. The shirt, the sweater here is from APC. I don't know what the brand stands for. Does anyone know? Do you know? Because my dad asked the other day and I look at I look, this is how brave, I look at him dead in the eye and say, oh, it stands for ass pussycock. I don't think he liked that. Oh, my shirt. Oh, don't look at that. Um, my shirt is... I posted a TikTok in this shirt a while ago, 
And I got a couple comments asking where it's from, and I did not respond to any of them. They got these like bugs on them. I love this shirt. But I got this shirt on Essence online, and it's the brand, I believe, Gentle Fullness. My ring is from some vintage store, I don't know. This is from my parents, my bracelet, like, like leather bracelet, it's blue, navy blue, with this Sacagawea coin. Isn't that cool? But my parents got this in Oregon for me this summer, as well as my belt. Hey! Look at that. But after lunch, we went to Value Village and I picked up a few things. First, I got this belt, which has these like really cool details. I just love like the, I don't know, it's just so like Western, but also quite like. And then I just saw this and I was like, well, I don't really have any camo. And I feel like, I feel like everyone should have a camo something, you know what I mean? So I grabbed this and then this one's pretty wacky. I need to stop buying clothes. Maybe I should try it on. I haven't tried it on. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna mainly use it just to like lounge around the house because it's like wool, but I thought it was gonna be scratchy maybe. It looks scratchy, right? I feel it. It's not. Ew, it looks like someone threw up on this. I really highly recommend getting a sweater like this. It's very thin, but it also like keeps me really warm. I don't know what it's, what is it made out of? China. What? But it is currently 3.50. I think I'm gonna go for a run in about an hour, 45 minutes maybe? My first run in- let me check my Strava. My first run since January 14th, and that wasn't even a run, that was 3.6 kilometers. Damn! My last like relatively long run was December 31st. So I guess we're gonna go for the first run of the new year in February. <laughs> I wanna wait for the sun to go down a bit. So for the next like hour, what I wanna do is clean my room. I talked about it in a couple videos ago. I've got some fruit flies, which honestly, they're gone. That Shrek ear plant, I got rid of her. Yeah, I chucked her in my backyard. And the fruit flies, which I got a couple of comments saying that they're not actually fruit flies, they are fungi gnats. They're not as bad anymore. There's a lot of dead ones. This is disgusting. I'm like, they're all in my windowsill though, so it's not that bad. Like, I'll show you, it's fine. Like, it's, it's, it's light. It's light work. But what I'd like to do is clean those corpses up, I guess. And that is the plan. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> uh, a few hours later, and I have not done any anything, I've just been sitting on my bed watching YouTube, but I just got randomly, like, so tired. I thought that I was hungry and I needed food, so I had a bagel, but I think that just made me more tired. So now I'm drinking this juice that I started drinking this morning. It's, it's called Turbo, so I'm, I'm thinking it should give you some energy. It's got apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, spin, 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 spin spinach, kale, and spirulina. It's not bad, the celery is quite strong though. It's 6.30 and I'm still determined to clean my room and go for a run. Do I want to? No, no. Will it make me feel better? Yes, I know, I know it will. So I'm gonna start cleaning things up. I was planning on fil um, cleaning my closet today. I need some incentive. I need somebody to hold me accountable because I will never do it and it needs to happen because frankly, I think it's making my room stink because I got, <laughs> I got my shoes in there, like whatever, like I stink, I stink, I stink, I don't care, fuck you. This video's fuck you. <laughs> this video's fuck you goes to anybody fuck who yeah. is mad at me because I stink. Actually, I don't want to spread that rumor. In the past, there's been people on YouTube who said they stunk, and then people fucking harassed them for years. <laughs> but I'm gonna go grab some Clorox wipes and start dusting and cleaning around now. <sighs> I don't know how this- I don't know how the fuck this car works. It's my car. I've been driving it for five years. I- I don't- 
sorry. Hola, mis amores y mis reinas. Um, I am... <laughs> I just got to the track. It is 8.26 p.m. And I feel like garbage trash garbage shit. <laughs> but I'm determined to run at least 10k. I think that I, I think that's that's manageable. Plus, when I am in this headspace, I often have like my best runs. I might very much I might end up running like 15k. I don't like when I'm tired, I slept like three four hours last night when i feel like this like exactly like this like sick but like a tiny bit of energy and motivation it always i don't know what it is i i but i always just have my best runs so we'll see it's a beautiful night and yeah let's do this thing we gotta stretch out first though don't forget to stretch you guys i want to go to bed I did it. What? Okay. So, I started this video, and I was saying stuff like, Oh, like, I don't think this video's gonna be all that exciting or, or eventful. Well, was I wrong? He agrees with me. This was a great launching pad into Productivity, motivation, dopamine, that too. Woke up at a reasonable time, worked a tiny bit, but incredibly impactful. Y'all are loving the video. Oh, I also hit, I also hit 1,000 patrons, disciples, warrior, it's, <laughs> thank you guys. That's something that actually, that's like, that was the realest fucking thing. Thank you guys. <laughs> that was so real. But we're growing to a point where it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to manage it for much longer. So if I, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will never, I think I can, I see myself doing this until the end of time. Like, I don't, why wouldn't I? Like, there's no reason for me not to. I, I, I the day that Priory of, oh fuck. The day that Priory of Sean is like, oh God, like this is the last one, it's gonna be devastating. Um, but if you want to join the book club, the first tier is the book club, but then if you want like extra bonus random bullshit content, uh, that's it, it's, uh, some higher tiers there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but the February book, Scripture, I haven't called it that in forever, is Juno Loves Legs by Carl Geary. <laughs> Help me! Help! Help! I'm, st I'm stuck on your screen! <laughs> we worked out. We socialized. We cleaned. I also did that. We worked out. I, I said, I think that's everything. And now what I want to do, because I feel like the last missing piece is reading. I, <laughs> I haven't been reading anything recently. But I think what I want to do to end this vlog is pick out like a TBR. I'm not gonna say like a February TBR. I guess I'll say February. I don't give a February TBR. Let's go over here. Shit. Ooh, oh. Mm. First one is, I'm gonna say that Sirens of t Tight. No, actually, no, because I think that this is, I'm gonna read this for my book club. <laughs> Stop talking about it. I'm, I'm hungry. I feel like this mic is pointed directly at my stomach and it's only getting those sounds. Stop, please. <laughs> Why are you, t okay. Maybe it's, it's the blue light. Don't they have that psychologist uh, in the comment section? Go off. Isn't there colors that evoke emotions in human beings? That's what I'm asking. Like red anger. What is blue? Blue is, I guess, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to include this in my TBR because I want to make it my book club pick for one month. But that'll I have to be in a couple of months. So it's... I wish, I wish, but I got obligations. But one thing that I would love to check out is Walking Through Clear Water in a Pool Painted Black by Cookie Motherfucking Mueller. Oh my gosh, guys. You guys, have y'all seen Love Has Won? Sorry, this. <laughs> I don't really know. Just, I, like, I want to read this, okay? Oh. The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro, too. Yes, this one. I want to read this one very, very soon. But I also want to make it a book for a book club. I think we're going to do this in January, February, March. 
Jan you interrupted me. Do you hear? January, February, March, April. April. Is this a good April pick? Guys. I'm gonna put this in there too, but it's Thirst for Love by Yukio Mishimi. That was a really good accent. I sounded a Japanese there. It's about some like crazy stuff that's like, I don't wanna talk about it because it's sad. I wanna read Albert Camus. I wanna read his book, The Plague. I also have his other one, The Myth of Sisyphus. Oh, fuck. The Myth of Sisyphus. The, mi the Myth of Sisyphus. I really thought I was gonna nail that. About 30 seconds ago in my head, I was saying, I know the name of that fucking book on the back, like the back of my hand. Hmm. I, I don't know. I'm like not into this anymore. What are you guys doing? Do you have summer plans? Summer plans. Let me know. Ooh, Crossroads. Crossroads by Jonathan Franzen. This is a bigger one, and I feel like I I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Okay, I think that's actually everything. Yeah, that's done. We're done. This is my little pile of books that I'm not gonna read. Um, yeah, I don't know guys. Like <laughs> like, subscribe, comment below. Yeah, and thank you for always being so kind, even when you're being mean. Bye. Thumbnail. <laughs> Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <sighs> Donald Trump. Please give me the strength. Please help me, Donald Trump. Help me, Donald Trump.